like, it is hard to believe it's already Harvest Homecoming. Um, we're celebrating our 51st year this year, and we have tons of fun events for everybody in your family from young to not so young. Well, I think they named it correctly. They call it the Harvest Homecoming, which uh, really it's an invitation to come back home. Over the years, people get out and they move away, but it gives a, people a reason to come back to New Albany every year to visit with family and friends. We're going to kick off on Saturday, October the 6th, with the Harvest Homecoming Parade and opening ceremonies. Uh, the parade will leave New Albany High School at noon, but if you would like to come down for opening ceremonies, we'll be right in front of St. Mary's Church at 11.30. Then we have all the fun that week. Monday evening, we have the Kids Dog Show at the Riverfront Amphitheater. Then on Tuesday, we'll have Pumpkin Chunkin' out at Purdue again. I think this is our fourth year for Pumpkin Chunkin'. Um, it's such a fun event. It's a great way to incorporate STEM activities into the fun. Booth days will start on Thursday uh, at noon. And then uh, we'll have one of my favorite events every year, the Harvest Homecoming Luncheon down at the Sounds Unlimited tent. You can still get tickets if you uh, come to the Harvest Homecoming office. They're $40 a person, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're having our own music festival this year. We are having, on Thursday night, a new event. We are gonna have a movie on the riverfront, and it's gonna be at the amphitheater there, and we're gonna be showing Hocus Pocus, and so that's gonna start around 8, 8.15, once it gets dark enough. And then the next day, uh, Saturday, we'll have Kids Day in the park, which has traditionally been down at the amphitheater, uh, but this year will be in Bicentennial Park, right in the middle of everything. We moved it up here because we have all the Kids Day events over here at the stage, so like the tractor pull and uh, the kids' costume contest, the baby crawl contest, and they all take place over at the main source stage. Uh, so this year, we thought we would try to have the Kids Days up here so that the parents don't have to go over the flood wall and come back down. We are gonna have some pumpkin painting from the Carnegie Center down the street. Um, there are going to be lots of little arts and crafts things for the kids to do that they can take home and all of it's free. Our entire festival is volunteer power. So for the last 51 years, every single event that's been put on has been by volunteers. We absolutely could not do it without volunteers. I'm really just thrilled. It's a great opportunity for the mayor to show off the city and show what great volunteers can do. If you haven't been to the Harvest Homecoming in a little while, come on out and check it out. Uh, it's going to be a great time, great family event.